One of Chicago's most ambitious and hotly contested real estate developments in recent decades is the Lincoln Yards Mega Project. It is being built along the Chicago River just west of Lincoln Park. Proposed by real estate investment and development firm Sterling Bay, the project has the potential to reshape the city's skyline along the Chicago River. Lincoln Yards would include office, residential and hotel towers, as well as restaurants, retail and entertainment spaces along Lincoln Park and Bucktown. The Lincoln Yards site was formerly industrial land that was located between North and Webster Avenues. The location was previously occupied by Finkel and Sons steelmakers who have been operating since 1902. As the steelmaker began to phase out its production at their old and aging facility, in 2012, the plant was demolished. Real estate developer company Sterling Bay purchased the site for a sum of $140 million in 2016 and first proposed to build a sports and entertainment stadium. At the time, Amazon announced plans to create a second headquarters that would create as many as 50,000 high-paying jobs in the chosen city. State officials obviously rallied to pursue the deal in its bid to lure the company to Chicago. But the Amazon plan did not work out and the stadium proposal was not favored by the locals as they preferred more parkland and green space instead. Finally, Sterling Bay scrapped its stadium plans and introduced Lincoln Yards, a mixed-use vibrant neighborhood which includes office, residential, retail, and entertainment space. In April 2019, the Chicago City Council approved the construction of Lincoln Yards, after years of land acquisitions and behind-the-scenes planning, Chicago-based developer Sterling Bay officially took the wraps off its massive Lincoln Yards megaproject. Sterling Bay has estimated that the entire development will take up to 10 years to complete. This $6 billion mixed-use plan aims for nothing short of a complete transformation of nearly 53 acres of vacant land flanking both banks of the Chicago River's North Branch Industrial Corridor. With such a large canvas at its disposal, Sterling Bay is planning to construct 12 million square feet worth of buildings including 70-story skyscrapers, 5,000 residential units, 23,000 on-site jobs, and at least 6,200 parking spaces. The average height of buildings at Lincoln Yards will be 300 feet, but a handful of iconic buildings at the site could reach as high as 700 to 800 feet, making them some of the most impressive skyscrapers in Chicago. The structures will be organized around multiple public green spaces, feature active streetscapes, and step downward toward the river for better physical and visual access to the water. Sterling Bay has hired Chicago architecture firm Skidmore Owings and Merrill and Boston-based CBT Architects to come up with a master plan for the Riverfront Mega Project. Landscape design comes from James Corner Field Operations, the same group that designed New York's High Line and Navy Pier's revamped promenade. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about upcoming mega construction projects in America, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. To manage the nearly 53-acre site, the developer has divided Lincoln Yards into two pieces, each with a separate planned development application. Occupying the site of the former Finkel Steel plant, the 29-acre Lincoln Yards North Parcel will include the majority of the project's commercial and residential buildings. The 23-acre Lincoln Yards South, located at the site of the city's old fleet and facility management unit, will be anchored by more office space, retail, a Live Nation entertainment complex, and a 20,000-seat United Soccer League stadium. Within the plan, the developers have incorporated roughly 3.5 acres of new roadways in the neighborhood to improve automobile connectivity. In addition, the development calls for new pedestrian pathways as well as a new transitway, so the site will be central to all main modes of transportation. The transit center will include a relocated metro rail station, shuttle service to nearby Chicago Transit Authority stations, new water taxi stops, divvy bike share stations, 
and an extension of the city's 606 pedestrian and bike trail. Infrastructure improvements will streamline access to the site, especially from downtown and from nearby airports, and reduce congestion in nearby neighborhoods. The plan also sets aside about 13.5 acres for new park space, plazas, and river walks. Sterling Bay's plans for its Lincoln Yards project include one of the largest dog parks in the city, featuring ball runs and fresh water pools. For most of the past five years since the project was first announced, developers have been focused on one of the most complicated environmental cleanup efforts in recent Chicago history in order to prepare the site for the construction of Lincoln Yards. So far, Sterling Bay has spent $10 million cleaning the site, including major undertakings like recycling 69,000 tons of concrete, heating and cleaning more than 27,000 tons of contaminated soil, and removing 36 underground tanks filled with toxic waste. Given that the site was home to more than 100 years of heavy steel manufacturing, it required this massive cleanup. Today, the site is considered safe for community use, and the construction of the first buildings have already begun at the site. 1229 Concord Place is Sterling Bay's first ground-up development at Lincoln Yards and will offer the city's rapidly growing biotech community over 320,000 square feet of brand new ultramodern lab space. Chicago is home to many world-class universities that churn out very promising life sciences startups. But the city is low on lab-specific real estate, forcing companies to move elsewhere. So Sterling Bay is developing cutting-edge lab spaces at Lincoln Yards that will offer homegrown startups the resources they need to stay in Chicago. Sterling Bay has also started work on the Steel Yard, which is the district of Lincoln Yards that will serve as the development's central hub of activity, lifestyle, recreation, and entertainment. This district will house buzzing restaurants, experiential retail, several new entertainment venues, and over 11 new acres of riverfront park space. The first building of the new steelyard will be a mixed-use mid-rise located at 1685 Throop Street. The 11-story, 365,000 square feet structure will bring the only available office space within the steelyard offering 28,000 to 35,000 square feet floor plates following the rising trend of smaller floors post-COVID. Employees at the building will have access to various terraces, including a large open space on the third floor with an outdoor bar and lounging areas. The plan to construct Lincoln Yards presents enormous challenges, particularly traffic congestion, concerns about straining resources such as nearby schools, and providing adequate park space. Some residents have expressed doubts about Lincoln Yard's ability to serve the expected influx of residents and their children. Despite this, once the project is completed and all of the businesses are in, Lincoln Yards could produce $4.2 billion in economic output annually, bringing in more than $38 million in revenue per year to the city. This megaproject is without a doubt a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to transform a former industrial site into a vibrant community and bring countless economic opportunities to Chicago. What are your thoughts on this billion-dollar project? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.